Apparently, there's a new peptide that can solve hair loss by killing zombie cells on your scalp. I know that sounds crazy, so I had to investigate it, find out what's actually true or if it's just another company trying to steal your money. If you don't know me, my name is Brandon and I'm a certified trichologist. And over the last 10 years, I've consulted with thousands of men who've had issues with their hairlines and their beard. So here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna look at what this stuff is, like what is a peptide? Second, we're gonna get into the science, how it's supposed to work on your head. And finally, I'm going to give you my verdict, the real unfiltered truth. Is this gonna be the miracle cure for balding guys or just another waste of time? All right, so let's start at the top. What is this stuff? They keep calling it a peptide. What does this even mean? You hear peptide and you think, I don't know, science lab, needles, big pharma? Is this another drug? But let me break it down real simple. Imagine there's a switch for your hair. Right now, that switch is off. And when it's off, your hair ain't gonna grow. A peptide, that's like a remote control for that switch. Its only job is to send a signal. It's small enough to get into your skin and aim at that switch and then click. Tell it, turn on and grow your hair. And this isn't a pill. It's not an injection. It's a serum. A liquid you drop on your scalp, just like your minoxidil. You put it on, you put it on your thin spots, your corners, your crown, and it's supposed to soak in find that switch and start sending the signal. And this company, OneSkin, apparently found a peptide that sends this signal and makes your hair grow like crazy, which would be revolutionary if it works. But how on earth does it actually work? Just before we get into that, if you want your own personalized plan to fix your hair loss, check out the link in the video description below. So when you put this OS01 serum on your head, how in the hell does it work? Because apparently it can change everything for your hair loss. And their whole pitch is that your hair loss isn't just about what's happening now, it's about what's been left behind. It's like having that one hater who you know is not, don't do nothing productive, but has always got something to say, running their mouth, dressing everybody out. And when that person comes around, the whole vibe is off. Everyone else is stressed, they don't wanna do anything, the whole operation shuts down. That's exactly what's happening on your scalp. That hater, that's what scientists are calling zombie cells. There are old, busted cells that were supposed to die, but they didn't. Living rent-free, spewing all this junk that scientists call the SASP. And that junk is choking the life out of your healthy hair, making it stop growing. Now I know what you're thinking. Yo, B. That sound like some marketing junk they made up. I thought so too. So I went digging and boom, I found this. This is from Columbia University and you know what they found. The exact same thing. They proved that the engine of your hair loses its power when you have too many zombie cells. And here's the crazy part. When they use a cenotic, a zombie killer, to clear them out, the cells exhibited restored hair inductive properties. Fellas, listen, that means they started growing hair again. So the idea, the concept is 100% real. But hold up, you know what they use to kill the zombies? A drug combo called desatinum and quercetin. They didn't use one skin's products. So the concept is proven, but does one skin's specific peptide actually do the job? For that, we got to look at their proof. So I went straight to their website to see what this zombie killing science was. I'm looking for the numbers. I'm ready to be impressed. And the first thing I see, these insane stats. 81 participants show an average improvement in hair density of 40%. 78% of participants show an average improvement in hair thickness of 43%. You see those numbers and you already pulling out your credit card. You thinking, this is it. I found a cure. Pump your brakes, big dog. Chill for a second. I read the fine print and I hit two major red flags. First, I'm looking for how many people were in this big 40% study. Their own site, their own fine print says with 30 participants. 
Nah, man, quit playing. <laughs> 30, not 300, not 3,000, 30. And we don't even know how many of them were dudes. Hell, we don't even know if any of them were black men. You can't change the whole hair game with 30 people. That isn't proof, but that isn't even the real hustle. The second red flag is even crazier. I'm looking at how they did the test, and I'm reading right from this site. The study was done with OS-01 hair and derma roller daily. Hold up, man, hold up. And a derma roller daily? How in the hell are you gonna tell me it's the serum? When they also punching holes in their scalp every single day. Now we know derma roller helps with hair growth. There's plenty of science to, to prove that, right? So what really worked? Was it the $69 serum or the $20 roller? Man, who knows? I don't know if they trying to play us, pretending like they serum be making that magic. So the company's proof is shaky, but maybe even if the science isn't there yet, maybe there's still people getting results with this thing. Maybe it could change black men's hairlines forever. So I went to the streets. I went to Reddit to see what the fellas who actually spent their hard on money are saying. And it isn't the 80, 90% success they're talking about in their study, not even close. Dudes saying they used it for six months and saw no results. Now, am I saying nobody gets results? Nah, I see a few guys saying they might be seeing some new hairs, but nobody, I mean nobody, is posting these 40% improvement pictures. So is this OS01 peptide the new miracle cure? Or is it just more hype? Now, I think the idea is smart. The science of shutting them up is the future. And if it works, it can change the game. But this product, with its price, the proof just isn't there yet. The research isn't there. And the street verdict is, mm, meh. This isn't the miracle potion, big dog. This is an expensive experiment. And right now, you're the guinea pig. For my money, I'm sticking to the tried and true. The stuff we know works until we see real independent proof. Now you know the truth about this new hype. Fellas, you wonder why minoxidil works for some dudes, but you're not seeing any results? It's not the minoxidil, it's how you're using it. Click this next video and I'll show you exactly what's really going on.